Let's take a look at how we can connect and properly route our audio interface to enable the use of outboard gear, such as compressors and equalizers, inside FL Studio. For the example here, I'll be using a Focusrite 18i20, but the concepts displayed should be relatively similar for application on other multi-input output audio devices. If you look here, and I realize it's a little difficult to see, from my focus right at line output three, I am actually routing it into the input here at channel two on the equalizer. And from the equalizer's output, I am routing back into the focus right at line input three. Now, equally for a stereo pair, I would also route uh, into the line input at channel one on my equalizer and out, uh, this would go over to lines four. But for the purpose of the video today, I'm just gonna keep things simple and just route into as mono. All right, so hopping over to FL Studio, I've got one insert set up for my sine wave generator. It's real basic here. Uh, so right now, basically what's happening here is uh, the insert by default is just routing over to the master channel. Pretty basic, right? Uh, so in order to get that over to my equalizer, uh, the first thing I need to do is actually I need to turn off the routing to my master. Um, if I keep this on and I'm routing over to the equalizer simultaneously, I'm going to run into the crazy feedback and things are not going to be good. Uh, so here we go. Turn that off and I need to uh, route my output in this case, uh, uh, in my case, to outputs uh three and four stereo pair right okay for the insert i want to assign as effectively my hardware equalizer i'm going to set its mixer insert to input three um, what this is going to do is it's going to set up the channel as as mono right uh, i'm also going to set its monitoring to on. I don't need it to just be monitoring while I have it uh, set as recording armed, right? So I'm going to turn that off there. All right. Go ahead and name that. So you can see right now when I play my test tone, my equalizer is picking it up on both inputs three and four because it's routing out as a stereo pair. Um, that's just how FL Studio works. Um, it's not possible, I don't believe, um, to route out as like a single mono output. Um, nevertheless, we can work around this. Uh, so I just want to use um, channel one on my equalizer. And the way that I can do that is I can set um, the panning on my sine wave. Um, in this case, I'm going to set it as left pan. And when I do that and I play my test tone, I am now only receiving that signal on the channel one portion of my equalizer. At this point, I would have demonstrated the effect boosting and attenuating various bands on the hardware EQ would have on my test tone, but there's one glaring problem with this. My tone is only spanning at most 100 hertz in the 500 hertz range. My workaround for this is to shift over to white noise, which will give me a full frequency spectrum to effect. 